Guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna tell you exactly what you need to be doing to become a successful TCG player seller and what not to do in order to not fail. Guys, I know a lot of you wanna make a lot of money on this channel and that's why you're watching and I honestly believe you can make a lot of money on TCG Player. The only problem is you need to do it right. The problem is people are doing it like we used to do it five years ago or seven years ago and this is gone, man. You cannot be doing it that way. Inflation was not as high, stamp prices were not going up every two months. That strategy is long gone. So if you wanna claim the old strategy of selling on TCG Player, and we'll talk a little bit about that strategy later on in the video, then you're gonna fail 100% almost guaranteed. Whereas there's another strategy, guys, that I believe is much better, that can follow on with the times and rising prices of all these cards and, and shipping costs, and can still make you a lot of money. Without further ado, boys, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video so you can get a lot more of this amazing, valuable content. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into the video. All right, guys, I'm gonna start telling you what is the wrong way to sell on TCG Player these days. What you need to be buying and selling on TCG Player is definitely not bulk. If you're buying and selling bull, stop immediately. It's not a feasible business. If you were thinking about buying and selling bulk, stop thinking about it completely. It's not a feasible business. And I'll give you the numbers right now. Inflation is going up. The prices of stamps is going up and all your shipping equipment with it. And it's just not allowing it to be a feasible thing to send 10 cents worth of cards one at a time. It's just not feasible. You wanna be making a lot more money when you're shipping out these cards. So that's why bulk is just not going to work. Let me explain. So bulk, when you buy a bulk, you're buying it at basically five or 10 cents every 1,000 cards. And you're hoping to God you get a couple of nice cards in those bulk lots. One, you're not getting any nice cards in these bulk lots. You're not getting anything of value in these bulk lots. People are smarter than that. They're only literally throwing you their trash cans. And I tried, I, I talked to many different people I mean, if it's a bulk listing, just assume they're throwing you your, their trash. Don't assume you're ever gonna find something cool. Just assume it's trash. It's very rare you're gonna find anything cool from these bulk lots. Next, not only are these bulk lots valueless, basically, and you have to sell every single card to make your money, uh, instead of like, for example, a nice collection where you just sell a couple of cards and you make all, a lot of profit back. Not only that, now you have to contend with these stamp prices that keep going up every two months. I'm not joking. I've never seen anything like this before. Stamp prices are going up to 75 cents almost. What is it, 73 cents now? Five full cents, just a nice jump like that. How can you, how is that feasible to you? You're already selling a card at 10 cents. Shipping prices just went up five pennies. Just like that. You're selling a card for 10 cents. The shipping price just went up for five cents. It's doubled. It's almost half of the price of the card that you're shipping. Just the, just the addition. So uh, explain to me how you're gonna be making money from that, except if you keep adding shipping costs. And that's not feasible, my brother. If you just keep adding shipping costs, $1.99, $2.99, you're just, you don't have a business. Your business is shipping. You're making money from shipping. You're not making money from cards sales. So not only is it very hard to acquire a good value of cards. Not only is it hard to sort it out, you're gonna to have to sort out 10,000, 20,000 cards by yourself, and they're valueless. It's not even fun to sort them. That wasn't you know? fun, it's not fun, it's, it's not, not fun. fun. It's not even fun to sort them. Maybe you find a good card, maybe you find two good cards, and you get excited, but that's it. From a whole 10,000 card lot, you're gonna find five cards that you're happy with? Are you kidding me? And you're calling that a business? Anyways. So you're not making any money with the sales because first of all, the, the cards are worthless. Second, the stamps are going up in price every two months. And third, the inflation is eating up the price of shipping as well. Not only the stamps, but also your envelopes and everything is going up. You cannot run a business selling 10 cents worth of cards. It's just not feasible. Now that you understand more why I don't like bulk selling, let me give you an example. Here it is. I have this set of cards right here and they've been here for now, I would say three months. I have uh, 10,000 10, Yu-Gi-Oh cards in here. Sorry, don't, don't mind the stick. This is my Moses stick. I have 10,000 worth of cards. Every single card in here has been posted. Every single card that you can see in here is posted, except these cards on the sides. 
and this box right here. And I'm so mad at this box because it's literally nothing. It's just a bunch of commons and uncommons. And I can't even be bothered to, to post it, to be honest with you guys. I can't even be bothered to post it. I have basically 10,000 cards right there. So now you know. Now you know bulk will never make you a dollar. Bulk is not cool. Bulk is okay to start. Bulk is nice to have to build up your inventory. Uh, 10,000, 20,000 maximum. Don't ever, no, 10,000 maximum. Don't ever buy anything over 10,000 bulk. But don't assume you're going to be making money from bulk. Bulk is just nice to have an addition to fill up your inventories. Like, for example, let's say you're selling a lot of Yu Gi Oh cards and you're selling a lot of nice collections of Yu Gi Oh. It's nice to have some bulk from those sets that you're trying to sell these collections off. And it just adds to your inventory that way. That's the best way to buy bulk is you have a bunch of nice cards already and you just want to complete those sets from those uh, actual booster boxes, for example, the actual set. And you can buy some bulk from that set to complete it. But in, in my opinion, the idea that you're going to sit there buying bulk and making millions of dollars and opening a business and becoming profitable is almost laughable. So what is the right way to do it? Huh, thank you for asking me. I've been thinking about this a lot, actually. There's really only one way to do it without a distributor. If you don't have a distributor, there's really only one way to do it correctly. And uh, you don't have to waste all your money and your time uh, sorting all that uh, bulk BS. What would you do? Go on Facebook right now. Go to your uh, friendly neighborhood group, card game group of whatever card game you want, like Lorcana, for example and type in looking to buy collections looking to buy collections that's the best most feasible most profitable way to sell on tcg player i don't care what anyone wants to tell you that's gonna make you so much money is absolutely unbelievable what's gonna happen is people are gonna post their cards for certain prices but no one expects to sell at that price they're just trying to show you like tell you a reference of what they wanted to get it at you just have to lock in at 60% or 50% whatever they say and you are goated I mean there's no way you don't make money back almost immediately I'm telling you guys I just bought this nice collection but 200 300 dollars worth this guy threw me extra stuff <laughs> we didn't even talk about and you know what's so funny you still get the bulk you wanted in the end you, he usually they still throw you the bulk they don't want in the end and they throw it all in that box or bag whatever they want to do it in that's what's happening guys that's what's gonna be making you a lot of money go to the next Facebook page go to your Facebook page favorite game look up uh, somebody selling their collection or, or start making posts about hey buying collections at a 60% off TCG player haggle negotiate tell them hey man i'm taking all your product man give me a good deal i mean I, i'm i'm really helping you out here help me out and people will give you an insane amount of stuff they're gonna give you sealed products sealed booster boxes they'll give you sleeves sealed they'll send you mats you'll get multiple card games which is absolutely amazing it's like this is how you actually make money on uh, TCG players by buying other people's collections cheaper than it would be on TCG player and then selling every single card and by the way when you buy collections you, it's not like bulk where you have to sell a bunch of cards to make your money back usually you make your money back out of uh, uh, just uh, selling half of the list or, or maybe three quarters of the list because you already bought it at 50% of TCG flair so you're already making a lot of money and all of your cards are valuable like the guy was actually playing the card game and they're collecting interesting cards and you still get bulk in the end you still get bulk this is the joke is you will still have some commons and uncommons that he threw in there and that's the actual joke is that you're not even paying for them because you're paying for the value of the other cards he just throws the commons and uncommons for you for free now obviously if you have a distributor it's best to go through the distributor but without a distributor in my opinion that is the best way to make money online on tcg player just sell your bulk get rid of that sell it go send that off ship it uh man throw it out in the trash can to be honest with you there's bulk you'll never be able to make a dollar from it they're gonna raise the prices of stamps again by the end of the year it's gonna be at 75 or 76 cents per stamp guys there's no way you can make money selling bulk 
uh, but there is a way to make money selling a $10 worth of a card at a time. That way you don't even have to worry about shipping. You have uh, 4 or $5 of, of leeway before you actually hit your expenses to worry about shipping. Whereas in bulk, you literally, if you shipped wrong, uh, or you, you literally have like pennies worth of leeway. So if you have to reship an item, or if one of your items get lost, that's a complete loss on you. Whereas on the other hand, you could still be, uh, plus you still have profited a little bit because the $10 card that says, uh, it needs to be reshipped. You still have leeway. You, ha you made so much profit. You made six dollars worth of profit from that card that it's okay to now make five dollars of profit. It's not going to hurt you that much. Whereas in the bulk section, you literally died off. You don't have. You literally are sh <laughs> uh, losing money. You're basically you're in the negative to reship that card. And this is something that happens all the time. You're going to have to reship cards all the time. And imagine that, imagine that your most simplest problem can ruin your whole company and that's why I do not condone bulk. Guys, interested in your opinions, did I blabber too much, did I say the wrong thing? Leave a comment down below, tell me what you think and I'll see y'all tomorrow.